Hi everyone, hope you're all well. I've decided to go ahead and um, make some little book page um, envelopes that you can use in um, journals. And um, I've seen like many uh, YouTube videos. And um, so I decided to go ahead and make mine, my sort of version of it I should say so I just get a page and I sort of fold it so that I've got this bit up the top which is going to be the top part of the envelope you'll see when I finish it and um, I just fold this over I'll make a couple because they're quite easy to make and um, so there is a bit of cutting, so I'm just going to cut from the side down to the corner of the fold, so it look like that. And we actually don't need these pieces at all. As so you'll see in a moment why those out then those fold back like that and that's the start of your envelope takes a bit of practice when you're doing it by hand I do have a corner rounder but I find when it's on one piece of paper it doesn't really cut very cleanly so and a bit of glue just on these flaps little pocket ready to go and just for decorating um, I've started making my own digitals for some of my projects so I will just ink these just to get um, that white edge so that it's not showing just covering that up put some glue on there I'm looking for music paper. You don't have to ink these edges if you don't want to, depending on the style of, style of um, the journal that you're doing. If you're doing antique sort of vintage junk journal you would probably ink the edges and I'm not sure which one I 
might go this one. just something very simple and you can put a label on there where you could um, actually do some journaling if you're journaling if you like you can also ink around the top around the edge something like that I did want this this one here a little bit different style um, but it sort of gives you an idea of how you can decorate it I'll just make another one Get some of this off okay so it's just folding the paper and the envelopes you can make any size that you wish Is over. And then I'll do the cutting of the corner first. and glue these flaps to the back edges to take that white tear mark away there is a way that you and I didn't think to do it um, depending on which way you tear as to where that white edge shows up you can either tear towards you or tear down away from you Music. 
I love using music paper on, on collaging. I think it's really sweet. turn it over and do the other side actually because I want this side showing bit of this paper. Might see if I can tear it so it's not a sharp edge. So I started tearing lifting it up like that and you can see where the white edge is and now that I'm tearing it away from me see how it doesn't have the white edge. So if you tear away it doesn't have the white edge. you tear towards you you get the white edge white edge white edge and I tore away from me and it had that nice edge so I'm gonna tear along there it's quite habit with me just to tear towards myself which is interesting I just noticed that <laughs> It's not until you start teaching you realise some of the habits that you have. There. And I think I have a bit of tea dyed paper. Just do this label there. There. And I'll ink a bit around the top. And because of the old um, book page it's already got that nice edge from already being an old book so not very bright but that's how I want it for the journal that I want it to go into um, want it sort of plainer um, but yeah you can add anything you like to it and that one's got a little bit brighter with that there and um, again I might just Add a bit of journaling area there. And get that white edge off there. Just see the edges lightly.
it's done. And then I can stick those down into a journal and then you've got a little tuck spot there for a journaling card. There. Hope you enjoy that. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and um, I'll see you again in another tutorial video. Thank you. Bye.